Welcome back to My Bonsai, I'm Chris, and today we're gonna do a little bit of uh, trunk bending on my cork oak. So, let's get to it. All right guys, so I wanna try to put some sort of movement into this trunk here before this thing starts to lignify and become too woody. But uh, first thing I gotta do, I gotta shorten this pot a little bit so I can get in here and I wanna try to find the roots, see if we have any kind of a, a good base. So the first tip I've got, I see everybody kind of come in here and start whacking away with like pruning shears or their, you know, their bonsai scissors. Well, uh, maybe we should use a knife. I think this will work a lot better. You even get a linoleum knife that has like a hook on it, which would be uh, the most purpose built for this. I think that works pretty good. Now we can get in here and get to the surface of the soil. I got a little bit of a sphagnum peat moss on here. Kind of want to save that. I'll put it somewhere else. I'm going to set that to the side. And <clears throat> this, this is a first year seedling here, so I know there's an acorn down here somewhere, which I think it's over here. The question of whether this thing has a good uh, good front or not is really, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I can see it is starting here and it goes that way, curves that direction, and then curves that way. So uh, let's get some wire out and we'll uh, see about trying to put some shape into this thing. All right, so I got a piece of uh, aluminum wire here. Uh, I think it's about one or one and a half millimeter, not exactly 100% sure. And uh, I saw somebody say that you should try to put the wire in at an angle. Okay, and then we're gonna work real hard at not breaking anything. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of pinch the tree with the wire and start winding it around. and I'm probably not winding it quite tight enough here. I believe you're supposed to try to wind it at about a 50 or 60 degree angle. And that should give you decent control over the branch or trunk in this case. And as I go up, I'm gonna just kind of keep working around. Try not to let the wire bend the trunk, but to try to wrap the wire around the trunk. All right, that should be high enough. That off. As I get better, hopefully I'll end up with uh, wasting less wire. All right, so I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this thing here, but I, I got a leaf right here. So when you try to bend, you want to try to twist as you're bending, tightening this coil. That, that'll that keep it, uh, it'll give you control over the wire. So I think I want to try to leave this leaf to the outside and maybe we'll get something to sprout there. And I'll kind of try to do that with a few different spots here. I 
the fun thing about this too is it actually kind of shortens the plant up a little bit. this thing towards me this way a little bit and then we'll just point the crown back straight up we'll let that grow probably for the rest of the season let this trunk thicken up take that shape and we can fool around with it some more hopefully we'll start getting some uh, side branching down here at all these leaves if you kind of pick it these things that'll encourage the, uh, you know, back budding. There's a hormone in plants called auxin, which comes out to the tips. And as they keep growing, they accumulate more of that op auxin and it, and it prevents the buds below it from uh, sprouting. So if you take the tips out, it'll encourage more branching. Anyway, I think that looks uh, pretty decent right now. Probably uh, put a little bit of the soil back on here to cover up my roots. Maybe use my peat moss. But I think that's it. And I'd like to uh, give a special shout out to my friend Joel over at Bone Dry Bonsai. He lives uh, kind of up in the foothills, a ways away from me. Not too far, though. And uh, also Karen Zinkowski, who keeps hounding me to put up more videos. So I guess I'll keep her entertained. We'll see you guys all around.